hopefully. Um, so yeah, welcome everybody who's ever there. Um, streaming time. Sorry for all the last two weeks that I missed the stream, but sometimes you just gotta work. So um, yeah, what we're uh, we up to today? Um, as the name of the stream implies, uh, hands-on dream audio tools. I thought it might be a good idea to have a look through their, in my opinion, pretty pretty nice libraries. Um, in case you haven't heard of these guys or don't know what I'm talking about, let me just bring that up for a moment. Uh, ba -ba, there we go. So today I want to talk about Dream Audio Tools. They get a bunch of libraries, a lot of guitar oriented stuff, guitar libraries, bass libraries, um, percussion and effects. Um, I don't have all of these. Uh, I may uh, upgrade that anytime soon. There's some cool stuff there that I still don't have. So I'm mainly concentrating on the guitar based stuff today. I also have the dream rhythms and the dream keys. So we might have a look at these as well. Um, they recently updated uh, the whole GUI uh, to make it look a little bit more attractive, uh, which worked out great in my opinion. And um, yeah, let's just open it up and see what we can do with it. Blank project, blank instance of contact. Here we go. And as you can see, I've already prepared a little bit because I have been organizing these libraries. One of the libraries still was sitting in the download folder. I haven't touched it since I bought it. Um, anyway, uh, so what do we have? We, we have the Dream Keys, Dream Rhythms, uh, Buzuki, Indie Fingers 1 to 3. These are electric guitars, uh, Indie Fingers Acoustic, Nylon, Mandolin, Ukulele, Repetitive Bass and Repetitive Bass Acoustic. Um, so let's start with some of the what do we start with i have actually no idea um i think the buzuki is one of the latest editions i had let's start i think there was one of the first instruments they came out with uh the indie fingers um the main concept of all these libraries is pretty much to give you uh performances of Guitars, acoustic instruments, etc., um, which are sometimes hard to emulate uh, with samples if you don't have enough round robins. Uh, best example would be the bass. For example, if we talk about straight eight note uh, bass lines. Temple Sync to your DAW. So right now I'm, since it's a new project at 120, so when you go to 100, and no C there, uh, which is not the problem at all. If you want to go down to C, there is that stuff here, so you can just extend the note. As you can see, it's uh, slice based and uh, it's kind of randomizing which slice is playing. So that's pretty nice. And you got eight notes, fourth, uh, single held notes uh, with a bass. I actually want to start with another instrument, but okay, now we have the bass there. Um, in case you need an amp tone. Don't have the feeling that it's doing much to the tone. A little 
little bit. Anyway, we can uh, process that further later on. Um, as I say, you got the eight notes, you got a clean and a distorted version. too slow for my taste. Let's go to 126. So that's pretty nice. And uh, again, as I said, there is the eight notes, then you have the quarters and the single notes. And Actually, regarding the tone, I think this is one of the best basses available. Um, it's lacking a lot of articulations, obviously, so you have no slides and all these fancy stuff that you get in dedicated bass libraries where you have all the single notes. But the tone, in my opinion, is pretty, pretty great. And even here, they miss to extend the range down. Problem at all. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so far for the bass. Um, and another thing that's pretty cool you got the low string and the third string. They name it fourth and second. So one, two, three, four. They sample the second string and the fourth string. So the fourth for the low notes and the second for more higher notes. So you got pretty much the whole uh, range covered there. Um, I think we will later combine this to, to one contact instance for bass only and use different instruments there. Um, Let's go from top to bottom. We have the Dream Keys. Uh, it's also, uh, you get single note instruments. A little bit muffled. soft tone, I really like that. So ambient sounds or ambient piano set two. Sounds a little bit different. And then you get some kind of uh, processed piano sounds. I really like that. Reverse sounds. Control the release noise. Very, very dreamy. Uh, I didn't battery save the whole thing, sorry for this. Looks like this is an old patch. Why? Oh, uh, I see it's all. It's double here. Anyway, uh, Fireflies. This is one of the patches I really love. I used that a lot of in, in uh, underscore tracks.
really like the tone of this one. Sounds like sent through Leslie a little bit. So, Dream Keys glasses. Takes a little longer to load. I could imagine, um, yeah, this is a perfect patch to show that. Um, if you throw on, if you put on a little bit of Valhalla Shimmer on this, really get great ambient that's pretty cool really nice sound there uh, let's step a little bit more through pretty great to come up with nice undertones underscore tones single patch here we may um, have a look a little bit later where this dream keys picks okay and then you got the same principle as you have with the with the guitar libraries um, you got kind of uh, performances or um, uh, note steps. key switches down here you can trigger different uh, key sequences To, to give a little bit of movement underneath some chords. And, uh, actually, I, I only play the note C and trigger different um, variations of the arpeggio down here. So. Uh, so, 
pretty instantly you get a chord scheme that sounds pretty nice on its own. I actually will need to, to look it up what it's actually doing. Um, so, sonars, sounds a little bit like affected piano. That's pretty nice. Uh, Dream Rhythms is another interesting little instrument. Also, I use that a lot in uh, underscore and tension cues. Uh, I got bass sounds and uh, rhythmic key sounds. I think there's the only one they haven't updated the GUI. Um, so key, then there is melodic. Oh, that's dirty. How's life? Doing good, thank you. Thanks for joining in. Uh, key and I made use a lot of these um, kick sequences, they're pretty nice. You put their filter on top and automate that, you even get more movement. So there's some pretty uh, nice stuff in there. We will have uh, definitely will when we try to come up with a little cue. We definitely make use of this. Um, back to these uh, guitar libraries that I initially wanted to start with. Um, as I said, these uh, a lot of these libraries, uh, the Indie Finger series, uh, the Nylon Acoustic and Mandolin. Uh, they are all based on uh, instead of sampling single notes and or, or multi-sampled instruments where you need to come up with um, your own emulation of playing. They sample various various playing techniques like uh, for example double stops. <laughs> The thing is that um, especially you, these uh, finger plate guitars are extremely hard to emulate uh, with virtual instruments because mostly uh, electric guitars, for example, are sampled with a, with a pick. And um, also two notes played at the same time on a guitar sound different than playing two individually sampled notes on a sampled guitar. <laughs> Actual performances of these eighth notes in this case. Um, I got a little bit of drive here to add on. I mean, they they. They are named indie fingers for a reason, so there's a certain indie vibe to these, uh, especially to the electric guitars. So, fingered chords, this is the key switch uh, version, where you have the key switch located down here at C. Z C1, I guess it is. So you get major, minor, and 
and seventh. And then you get single note repetition, and this is pretty cool because you can combine these to, to your own riffs. drive there if needed. I think it even goes way more into drive on other patches. And then you got the intervals, the different. And that's pretty great. Patches are also available in half time, and this is where it really gets interesting because um, so you got these. Uh, uh, I think it's a perfect fifth. C to C to G, and when you combine that with, for example, the uh, G note, where you get G and D for the perfect fifth, so you get C G C G, and, and you can combine these depending on in which direction you play. Playing sucks a little bit, but if you quantize that uh, in the DAW, it actually uh, lines up uh, to be in sync. So, for example, put the G here. Uh, well. So that alone is a little bit... If you, put, if you put that um, Extend that. Let's take the drive off here. Uh, 
last but not least. Actually, the second note needs to overlap to, to not get rid of, of the ringing. So. thing and just load up uh, let's load the repetitive bass and let's start with the single notes clean uh, that's the quarter notes string tones two times what the hell something is wrong here oh no okay got it Because there's a fifth interval, uh, when I do the B here, it plays an F sharp. Right, that's what I want to do. Um, played a little bit around the harmonies that have been created through the guitar there. And so this is. Uh, Single. Sorry for the noises of the chair. I definitely need to get a new one. Yes. Uh, since we're starting out with something here, let's uh, keep the levels in check already. So this so I'll create a guitar group let's make it e guitar because I'm pretty sure we're going to some acoustic stuff as well e guitar let's put that over there this is going into the bass group and put that there uh, color it let's play a little bit more with the effects let's get rid a little bit of the reverb it's actually upside down so when I move the mouse up goes the other way around uh, a little bit more de delay and maybe even try some chorus there <laughs> Ideally, I'm ready to get rid 
This sounds together. This thing, I still feel it's a little bit empty to leave it alone there. So, uh, Dream Audio Tools, Indie Fingers 2, what do we have here? Let's jump through some of the preset sounds that's for later <laughs> Definitely sounds indie. Let's see how this sounds together. I just added another note. So you have this um, uh, root, fifth, and octave uh, line from the guitar. And I just add the D with an eighth note in between. You get a totally different result there, uh, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, let me go to the insert effects and uh, add some auto panning here. Uh, where do we have it? There's a pan man. So back and forth. We smooth that out. Um, So I just keep it the whole time on uh, C, and I will add a little bit more of delay and a little bit more of reverb, and put it way down. So let the auto panning do the rest. So this indie fingers two, and the patch is actually. What is it? Uh, linearity. So when we put that together, it's... That's 
I mentioned before, they can even add in totally different shapes. And easily fill up the frequency spectrum there. Um, enough for now. Maybe to separate a little bit more from the other guitar, I'll put on the drive. Okay, a big shout out to Egal, 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 whatever your name is pronounced. Thank you very much for donating. Uh, yeah, I think I forgot to uh, switch on the Twitch alerts. So uh, I missed this one right now. Uh, but thanks anyway. Um, very much appreciated to keep going with these streams. Uh, let's add another folder here. Um, hi, Badaleo Leo. Nice to have you here in the stream. Thanks for joining. Um, so, yeah, let's put in some acoustic stuff here. There is some really nice stuff in there. Argentina, wow, it always surprises me where people actually come from looking at this thing. Uh, well, best wishes from Germany. Uh, Indie Fingers Acoustic. Let's take a look at some of these. These are pretty cool in that regard that you have uh, kind of um, arpeggiated high strings. And you get the root note uh, played in quarters. And you can change the root. Oh, really great sound there. Uh. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, so you Depending on what note you play, uh, for example, now I played the uh, E on top of the C, so you get a C major because it's uh, alternating the uh, fifth in, in the high strings. Man still active there. Let's get rid of that. A uh, little bit of delay on top, a little bit less reverb, and uh, now. Cool. Um, what do we have on patches here? We got a rhythmic pattern. We'll check this. Uh. 
actually want to change something here. Um, going back there, but leave the bass note at G. Let me see how that sounds. That's pretty cool. So um, I'll duplicate this, and um, instead of creating a new instance of contact here, because I want to have it all the same uh, from the base, don't need single instrument channels there. Um, I'm gonna add a MIDI track and put another instrument inside the contact instance. Stream audio tools, repetitive bass. So we have the fourth string tones clean. So we now take the fourth string eighth clean, actually. Bring that down to six. Down to six. Right. Um, so actually, I can only copy the single notes that I have there. And it immediately changes to eighth notes as I change the MIDI channel here. <laughs> pretty cool and I load it out the acoustic guitar here let me listen through a little bit more Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh... Let's add that in, Let's see how it sounds. Uh, so there's actually 16th notes. And the single note sound is By combining these oh actually it's eighth notes sorry so we extend this to there Really nice the um, the auto slight noises or, or fret noises that come in there. Oh, actually. this. That's really cool sound. Uh, instead of making the acoustic louder, I think I turn the electric guitars a little bit more down. Bass is fine. Let's put this one Move it down and keep this at volume. And then we're going to add so, b -b 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 
bar add a group for the acoustic guitar put that over there give it its color and off we go so <laughs> Just to have it as usual, I'm adding the chord track for everybody to follow along what we're doing here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, track MIDI. We don't send this anywhere. And we don't want to see it. And the chord track can get a little bit bigger and we're using chord. So uh, we're starting off with C major. So actually it's a sus2. Well, let's keep it at major. It's an added second. F major, A minor 7, pretty much that is. And last but not least, we have a G. It's kind of a G sus4, but with a Uh, when is the horror movie score deconstruction coming? <laughs> Interesting question. Uh, we'll have to wait a little bit more till the film is finally released. Then maybe we can do a session on, on the score there. <laughs> acoustic guitar I think I put a little bit to the right there even though we have that auto panning on the other uh, on the other guitar but it may still sound good on the other side so we have um, this can definitely be a little bit louder
So that's pretty nice. It fills up nicely. I'm going to duplicate this. Uh, let's put in on the other side of the spectrum or of the panning. Uh, let's put in, well, the mandolin. I like the, definitely love the mandolin as an instrument. Mm, let's see what we have here. <laughs> Let's try the rhythmic pattern there. play something on my own but I want to want to work with the integrated pattern let's see how that sounds bring the volume down a little bit so uh, there's a delay when I hit the note, so we got, um, it's a different rhythm. We uh, activate the click here. So it starts with an, uh, after the one, so it's with an offbeat. So let's check this out, how this works. So, try again. Let's do it like this. the ending here um, let's see how it sounds if we go like this that sounds nice so still missing a little bit from the percussion side so we do another folder give it the color percussion 
<laughs> Let's see what we can do here. I do not necessarily need to self to stick to dream audio tools only. So if there's something something that I'm missing right now in terms of drums or um, yeah, percussion. Uh, let's just see if we find something fitting. Uh, definitely can try out the percussive section. Bring the volume a little bit down on this one. And send this into its group. Percussion. Put that over there. Get its color. And now we can look for other sounds. Maybe if I if I If I filter that pretty hard, where we can use it as a kind of um, shaker. First, let's step through. Maybe we find something else that works better. This is 13. Okay, so let's go back to 13. Um, dream rhythms, full tempo, percussive 13. Yeah, I think that works pretty cool. It's an underneath uh, shaker re layer. Um, I actually just want a straight shaker, so I think I just take a look at my loop library here and look for something along the lines of a shaker. Uh, nine volt audio shimmer and shake is always a great resource for that. So one natural plastic. X shaker. Let's try that out. I'll mute this, put this down there, and route it to percussion. Bring the volume down. Instead of having the high notes here, uh, let's get rid of the 
low cut and use some of these kick patterns that I had in the beginning from the dream rhythms section because there's some pretty cool stuff in there that works great that one. Let's see how it works in context. Okay, maybe the 16th shaker is a little bit too busy. Let's go with an eighth one. Uh, something less busy here. Let's go with a straight. Not really far to the floor, but... Totally enough to give a little bit of edge to to the whole thing. Um, so I'll repeat that twice. And this is the same. And then we're going to change it up a little bit and bring in some piano. Uh, keep that on loop for a moment and we'll be back in a minute. Uh, this is what we got so far. Apart from the shaker, Dream Audio Tools only. <laughs> Definitely a nice sound bed there, but could could get a little bit more. Uh, actually, let me change this. This is mandolin, and um, try to to use some more patches. Eddie, thanks for your kind words and thanks for joining the stream. Uh, once again. Uh, already had one donation uh, appreciate that you can find the button underneath to donate if you like the stream uh, appreciate everything that can be done there and uh, spread the word like the page on Facebook uh, tell other people about it the more the better um, let's bring in some uh, keys here so Go with a 
input folder and add another instance of contact. Put it there. And now time for the dream keys. Let's bring them in. Dream keys, there we have them. Uh, I haven't gone through all the patches before. Uh, let's just see if there's something we like. Wow, love that tone. nice um, drone note you can put underneath Let's see how it sounds that sounds really nice it can run through the whole sequence uh, since I'm on uh, C, G, A minor and F uh, notes of C and D pretty much always work within the chords and an eighth yeah an eighth note later we do the D and make that once longer put it on full volume and alone it sounds like this And since it's uh, synced uh, to the host, uh, it adapts and you get the attack of the notes always at the beginning of the chord change. the track and this time I'm going with a MIDI track because I want to use the same channel and add what can we add let's have a look here my most beloved patch from the <laughs> from the piano library or our dream keys library is the fireflies see if we can find something to put on top a little bit melodic belts and whistles make that a little bit louder um the more i think about it i rather put it on an extra channel so let's is it actually routed already uh, this is close this panel ah, damn it so close this uh, and no, it's not routed yet, so we create a group channel for this. Keys there. Give it a color. I think now we're complete here with the groups. Um, and now let me delete this and duplicate this. Gives me more control if I want to treat this patch differently. Dream keys, fireflies, there we go. So, um, I wanted to have it a little bit louder. Something like this. Definitely need 
some EQ treatment because it sounds too much in the same range as the guitars and all that other stuff. So let's get rid of it. There's some frequency that's really bugging me there. Yeah, this one. That's better. So, let's try to play something on top. Um, that a little bit a little bit more uh, so the keys together is actually this to this now oh, that sounds better and duplicate this and I think for the for the other keys patch we'll need to get rid of some of the low end as well um, There's a lot of low end dirt in there. So, uh, all in all, Okay, let's bring a little bit of harmonic change here for, uh, let's do eight bars and then repeat this once more with a little bit more instrumentation later on. Um, let's go to F major here, uh, F major seven. Actually, that's what I have in mind. Hello, Morbik. Oh, no, that 
thousand dollars worth. Um, okay, this is uh, one of the cases where um, it doesn't work the way. I expect to win when it comes to the arpeggio that is playing perfect fifth. So uh, when I when I do this, and now I want to go to the G with uh, the G and the B. And the problem is that I don't get an D on. Uh, not a, not a G on top of the B, but a but an F sharp, uh, since it's a perfect fifth. And um, what I want to try now is to change that single note there, uh, and substitute it with a different arpeggio that uh, does not play a perfect fifth, but a sixth notes. Uh, six, so we get B and G instead of B and F sharp if anybody has an idea what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, uh, let's try to find this intervolic arpeggio 2. So let's try the other ones and find the one which works. So we add a MIDI track here. A little bit of Green Day there. single notes here full repetitions do we have them in half time hmm Try in your fingers two or three. Johnny T, how am I doing? I'm doing good. How are you? try a different patch here because um, I don't get it to work with a with a fifth arpeggio here but since I want to change the pacing of the piece here anyway Let's do this. So let's 
So this is um, anything is three. And let's add the quarter note MIDI here for the bass. Audio tools, repetitive face, fourth string, quarters clean. Bring the volume down, the same level, and we have quarters here. Let's do the full length. Just trying stuff out here. That might work. Ah, damn it. See how they work together. Mm, let's do eighth notes on this one, and when we repeat it, we're going to. Eighth notes, duplicate this. Um, let's take another pattern for the mandolin here. Um, I think I have something in mind there. I know where this is going. Let's try the rhythmic pattern five. Exactly, this is the rhythm I've been looking for. this one so this is mandolin rhythmic pattern five um duplicate this and the acoustic pattern i think this can stay <laughs> Here, but 
Don't worry, we get it fixed. So, listen to the guitars on their own. Okay, um, I know that Dream Audio Tools has an indie drum kit, but I don't have that one. Uh, so, but I feel that I'm going to need a drum kit now. Um, so, I'm going with addictive drums now. Let's send that to percussion. And Let's look for some indie tone here. First of all, bring the volume a little bit down because addictive is always insanely loud. Let's go with this one. Tune the snare a little bit down. Let's go with minus 1.5. Okay, let's see. Well, I don't think that I necessarily need to make the voice louder. I think I just need to speak louder. <laughs> Sorry for this. Um, okay, first things first. But of course I can see if I can fix that issue there. Give it just a little bit more boost. So we should be fine with this. in the volume there snare rhythm here.
So. I don't like the snare sound at all. Um. Don't compress as much. Let's see how that sounds. It's too much of the snare. Go more of the straight pattern here. Sounds better. So let's duplicate this. Sixteenth notes. A little bit of offbeat there, put the volume up. Got a little bit of rock in here. So we do the rep uh, eighth distorted. Let's load out the distorted eighth notes. Uh, dream all your tools for repetitive bass. Eighth note distorted. Uh, 
that's nice. So, and we add another electric guitar here. Get rid of this. And we have that fuss guitar, but uh, I think that might be too early to bring that in. Uh, there's a nice... Actually, let's, let's just listen through some of these patches. here turn it down a little bit and turn the drive on it should be enough to just put that underneath that guy I think give it a little bit more volume even a little bit more drive Well, let's just put it like uh, these symbols were added in an overdub after the drummer played that stuff in, because otherwise it would be an eight-armed drummer playing the snare, the toms, and the cymbals at the same time, at least three arms. But uh, I think it works for, for that. Um, for that particular moment here. And the obvious eighth notes rise in the Thompson snare. Ah, damn it. There we go. symbol there.
So, um... Actually, let's check some indie rhythms here that we can might bring in there for the final part. Um, so please sync that category indie. Where is indie? Why did I program that shit? There is the groove that I wanted to have. I think that sounds even better than mine. Let me check it. Let me try. place for here put that there again there okay is the map window where is the (laughs) 
I'm looking for there. There is a tamarind in there. Maybe it's not loaded. Let me check it. There is it. Okay, let me check map window. Where is Flexi hit C, or Flexi hit A, Flexi one hit A. There we are. Ah. Okay. Now we have it. So adding this as a sixteenth line on top. Polygraph, nice to see you. Hope you're good. Yeah, actually, I said that in the beginning. Sorry for the missed streams in the past two weeks, but just had too much work to do, so there was no way of doing streams. But anyway, uh, back on topic. So that seems to work great. Um, change the rhythmic pattern of the mandolin here to maybe this one.
See if this works as I think. See how the works together with the bass. So Check the guitars on their own here. So this is actually a uh, blaze of glory mod wheel. Mod wheel because might be an interesting effect. Just as a transition there to the last chorus. somehow is lame. Ah, we're missing the four to the floor here. So we actually need to correct this. What? Can you do some little B, please? Whatever that is. So, there was some more. Um, some more rhythmic instruments or or, uh, or maybe the buzuki let's see P 
pattern. Actually, this is acoustic because that's the buzuki. Change the color there. Oh, now I got it, some little bee. <laughs> well, as mentioned before, I uh, would have to listen to that to actually see if I can come up with something like that. Not something I listen to on a regular basis. Uh, and Let's quantize this a little bit. No. For the last repetition, let's bring in the fuzz guitar. We'll see if it works in here. I mean, we're getting bigger and bigger with the sound, so why not try this? that sound too much. just go with a with an eighth note there bring the volume a little bit down and yeah see how it sounds <laughs> Uh, 
just quantize the shit out of it. This one and add in fat folder pro Q. Okay, put that on repeat. Double the bouzouki with a firefly, let's see how that sounds. Yeah, that's better. Okay, uh, just one listen what we have so far. Actually, just let me correct the... This is...
minor seven. This repeats. Okay, so um, yeah, have a listen to what we have so far. We'll be back in a minute. So, um, and the mandolin could actually play Oh no, let's keep that and I have an idea. There is a tremolo patch in the mandolin. Mm, let's see where that is. Pretty nice, so let's get rid of the reverb here. We're gonna reamp this. So let's put on uh, amp simulation. Uh, let's go with ask gear. Come on. Can't be that long. There we go. Okay, let's see. And 
loads of delay. Go with a dotted. See that bugs me a little. This one, let's drop it a little. And bring a little bit down. expression it does not so let's see if we a little bit of volume automation there um, let's get a little bit creative with it so um, that a little bit and it gets in the way with the other fuzz guitar here <laughs> Thank you. 
This is Mando Solo. Oh, I actually sent this to Electric Guitar. Okay, some love first, the last chord. This can stay. Do it just one bar can fade out. Um. Dum-dum-dum! There was this chord patch. Uh, let's let's duplicate. Get rid of that. And uh, where is it? Dream Audio Tools, Indie Fingers. Thanks at all. The first uh, one. Show. Finger chords.
keep it a little bit longer till the base fades out. And yeah, pretty much I think that's it. Let's just put on some final touches. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Virtual mix rack. Put it there. Gonna lower the volume a little bit of the stream channel there. And let's go with. Actually, let's do some bread. Copy that over. Anything that we haven't matched on the group? It's all in there. Good. So, the acoustic. But not least, the low end stuff, the percussion. And 
Nope. Just a little bit of treatment there, and uh, last but not least, going to the master section, uh, we're going to add the mix bus here, uh, again bridge, noise reduction. <laughs> But not least, slamming a little bit of isotope on. I'm going for uh, indie rock. Let's try modern folk. good to me so a little bit playing around with indie fingers today um, actually these are pretty pretty nice libraries I mean obviously you can do way more when you incorporate them into into whatever you're working on uh, so what I did today is try to concentrate solely on their libraries but um, it's really really great stuff to enhance uh, arrangements, especially the guitar stuff, if you layer these uh, 
hegios and, and intervals, uh, intervals. So I really like it. Uh, hope you liked the stream today. And um, yeah, here's what we did. And thank you very much for watching and see you next time.